Hello everyone and welcome to this video going over all the mutations in the Eternal Cylinder. I'm going to go over each mutation category at a time, starting with the body mutations. The storage body mutation is gained by eating the pouch fish, which is found in any body of water. What it does is it doubles the storage space of the treadmill that eats it for a total of 6 inventory slots. The wheel body mutation is gained by eating the tubular pod. One of these can be found at the start of the game by rolling down this broken pillar. After that, you will not find the tubular pod until the desert biome, where they will be sticking out of these cylinder objects that grow on rock structures. The tubular pod gives the Trebum a cylinder-shaped body that rolls slower, but can deal damage to anything the Trebum rolls into. You can still be attacked while rolling, so make sure to be careful. The wheel body will also kill some creatures that pick it up, such as the Gargadend and Vushlop. You can also break hard-shelled items with the wheel body by rolling over them. The mixer body mutation is gained from eating the Tongo Groplet organ, which you can get from killing blue Tongo Groplets that are only found in the tundra. The mixer body allows the Trebum to combine items into bombs. There are three types of bombs, gas, cluster, and energy bombs. Gas bombs which release a cloud of poisonous gas, Cluster bombs, which will detonate once and then all the pieces will detonate again. And energy bombs, which deal pure power damage. There are four bomb sizes. Tiny, small, medium, and big. Cuboid body comes from eating the organic cube that you can find in Trebum shrines. This is a cube body that the Trebum can use to unlock special Trebum doors. Next is Amphibian Body, which comes from eating finned jumpfish, which is only found in the water once you reach the desert biome. This lake is located in the area after talking to the second elder near a Trebum shrine. The Mineral Processor comes from the Lithotroph Mushroom, which can only be found on special Trebum statues, usually in caves, but they can be outside as well. The Mineral Processor body allows the Trebum to turn minerals into the special currency you use to buy upgrades or unlock mutations. Any item that has the mineral icon on it can be broken down by the Mineral Processor body. The Water Processor, which is gained from eating spring worms that can be found in any biome. This is what they look like, just little worms traveling across the land. The Water Processor body will slowly convert food into water, but be careful as this destroys the item and only refills your water supply. Does not turn inorganic items into water, such as minerals. The Inflatable Body To gain the Inflatable Body, you must first find a hardened aeronaut, which is a fruit that grows off weeping trees. When you break the hard shell, you will find an aeronaut mesocarp inside. Eating this gives the Trebum the inflatable body, which looks like a balloon and can inflate to ride the wind from active geysers into the sky. It also slows down the falling speed of Trebum. The regenerative body mutation comes from the frozen Squaw Heart, which you can get from killing a frozen Squaw, and later find inside a chest in one of the Trebum shrines. The regenerative body allows the Trebum to regenerate health over time. Since you cannot see the health bar all the time though, it's hard to tell you are getting health back, but here on the screen I'm just showing you I lost some health, and then later you look in your inventory again and you can tell I'm 100% health. The plated body mutation comes from the microbiotal colony, which can be found inside the hard shell Clabarock pearls. You can get Clabarock pearls from chests, or you can create them by finding a Clabarock in the desert. What you have to do is wait for it to stick out its weird eye and stand in one place. When the eye goes back into the sand, run away. Then shoot an item into the place you were standing, and the Clabarock will rise up and eat the item. After eating it, it will shoot up a Clabarock pearl. Wait for it to fall, and then suck it up. The plated body mutation gives the Trebum this unique body, and it doubles the health of the Trebum. When this double health happens, it will not increase your health automatically, so you will have to eat some items or just wait patiently for your health to regenerate to that new health cap. These plates are weak to extreme temperatures. The unstable body 
is gained by eating explosive fruit which grows on various structures in the final cylinder warped biome. Once the Trevum has eaten the explosive fruit, a 10 second timer will start indicating when the Trebum will explode, dealing damage to anything nearby, even other Trebum. Master of Song a special mutation that is gained from eating a Trawala heart found inside a grash tub. This mutation is used to progress the storyline as it allows the Trebum to speak to the celestial Trelhala. Trewala Body This is gained by eating the Trewala core number one, which is inside Trewala statue number one. This mutation gives the Trebum a unique look. However, the actual mutation doesn't do anything. It is only for story purposes. Next is the trunk mutations. First up is the dimatic trunk, which is gained from eating the tuba tubers that are fruit growing from these loud pipe reeds. The dimatic trunk allows the trebum to make a loud sound to startle or frighten predators or even herbivores, and it scares off Omnigron and stuns the triple bosh or onogrash. The filter trunk is gained from eating filter fluff that grows off plants near cliffs in toxic places. The filter trunk allows the Trebum to breathe safely in areas filled with toxic gas, or if they get toxic gas spewed at them, such as the gas from the Ankifer. Toxic trunk is gained from the Tongo Grop acid pump, which you get from a dead Tongo Grop. You can get it in some Trebum shrines, but a smart Trebum can figure out how to kill a Tongo Grop. One way is you can lure a Tongo Grop to a celestial Trawala to kill it. But this creature guarded the way to you can also lure two tongue grubs together and they will kill each other. Or using the mixer body, you can create bombs to kill one. Four big energy bombs will kill a Tongle Grub. The toxic trunk allows Trebum to spit out acid, which deals damage and replaces their ability to spit out water. When spitting acid, this will deplete your water supply. Hose trunk is gained from proboscite fruit found on the roof of caves. Allows Trebum to shoot water much further than normal. Pyrogenic trunk comes from the pyrophile fruit, which grows near very hot rocks or inside hot caves. The pyrogenic trunk allows the Trebum to start small fires on the ground. These fires do minor damage and produce heat that can be used to hatch Trebum eggs and warm up rocks. They can also be used to light fuses on these desert plants. Extractive trunk is gained from eating the cryopolyp that is found on frozen water in the tundra. It can only be found in the tundra. It allows the trebum to get more water from food it eats. This only applies to food that gives trebum water, which is represented by this water drop on the item's icon. This water effect only triggers on the items that this trebum eats, not on the items other trebum eat. So make sure you are the leader when eating water-based items. The extractive trunk scales with how much water the food gives you. For example, the Karkazoop normally gives 35 water, but with this mutation it will give you 52. The aquatic fungosphere gives 9 water, but with this mutation you get 13. Fumogenic trunk. This is gained from the smoke bulbs that grow in caves. This is only found in the desert. Allows the Trebum to create smoke clouds that provide camouflage. This hides any Trebum in the smoke cloud, similar to the blue bushes allowing them to hide from enemies. The tornado trunk comes from the Great Gar spore, which you find in the Great Gar's sack, and therefore can only be found in the desert. The tornado trunk allows the Trebum to create small tornadoes for various purposes. You can use them to make these fan plants fly up in the desert, for example, and they can interact slightly with small objects and small creatures, such as Glickbull. The rattle trunk comes from the rattle seed, which you can morph out from articulated ink stocks. The rattle seed has a chance to appear as the ink stock chases you. The rattle trunk allows the trebum to produce a rattle sound to scare small animals. And it basically works exactly like a dimatic trunk with the creatures it scares away. This can only be found in the desert. Hypnotic trunk is gained from the piper plant that can be found in chests or caves. The hypnotic trunk plays a unique tune that hypnotizes all Glickbull near the Trebum. It makes the Glickbull follow the Trebum. The hypnotized Glickbull will have a pink hue and be a little sparkly. 
The irascible trunk is gained by eating an Omnigron pellet, which you get from dead Omnigron. This is a joke mutation that makes the Trebomb's trunk produce an annoying noise for 5 minutes. Tongued trunk. This is gained from eating the tongue bag you get from dead Rundaslugs. Allows the Trebum to shoot out a sharp tongue that can deal damage to enemies it hits or hit objects. The Trewala trunk is gained by breaking open Trewala statue 4, and then you eat Trewala core 4, which will then give you the Trewala trunk. This mutation is only for story purposes and looks a little funky. Now for the feet slash leg mutations. Starting off with leaping legs, which you get from the hop ho pop pods that Hop Hopops drop when they're scared. Allows Trebum to jump super high. Webbed feet comes from a leap tail that you can find in the water. Webbed feet allow Trebum to swim faster and jump higher out of the water. Meteor feet comes from eating Barbagar's foot. You can find one near the end of chapter 1 where you find the hardened arrow nut. To get it, just float to the top of this structure and it will be in the nest. After that, you can only find this item in the desert growing on these unique plants. Meteor feet allow the Trebum to do a ground stop that can knock back nearby small creatures and deals minor damage. Sucker feet is gained from eating sucker lobes that grow off these unique plants in caves. They are only found in the tundra environment. Sucker feet allow the Trebum to root itself to the ground and it will not be moved no matter what. So you can use it to solve puzzles, but more importantly, it prevents you from getting picked up by the Vushlop predators in the tundra, as well as the Zushgarg. Be warned though, your fellow Trebum will not root themselves, so they are still in danger of getting picked up. Quadruped legs are gained from eating tetra crabs, which are found in the desert biome and corrupted cylinder biome. The quadruped legs allow Trebum to run faster than normal, but it's still slower than rolling. Legless is gained from eating Glickbull heads, which drop from dead Glickbull, and can be found in any biome. Legless will remove the legs on a Trebum for 30 seconds. Stealth legs is gained from eating Skulk bugs, which is only found in the final corrupted cylinder biome. Allows the Trebum to walk without making noise to stay hidden, and also looks very Creepy. Trewala legs. This is gained by breaking Trewala statue number three and then eating the Trewala core number three. Gives the Trebum these unique Trewala legs, but their only purpose is for the storyline. Now for the eye mutations. The third eye is gained by eating the amber eye that is on top of these special Trebum statues. And it is unique as it is separated from other eye mutations, so you can combine the third eye mutation with any other eye mutation in the game. The third eye allows the Trebum to track items it has discovered from the compendium. To activate it, you go into the compendium and select an item you want to track. Then you will see an icon of the item on the screen. If the item is nearby, an indicator will point towards where the item is as well as have this color around the item indicating how far the item is, and a sound that increases in intensity as you get closer to the targeted item. If the item is nowhere nearby, then the circle around the item's icon is empty. Perceptive eyes is gained from the intracrystalline aggregate, which can be found in caves. Perceptive eyes allows Trebum to see a different frequency of light to reveal hard to see items such as filter fluff and purple corn, but they also can show you Trebum footprints leading to secret locations such as this cave here. And if you ever see Trebum footprints leading to apparently nowhere, well, that actually means there's a hidden cave there and you need to get some fancy predator to break the rocks around the cave to get inside, or if you have some bombs, you can blow up the rocks yourself. Who knows what other secrets these eyes will show you. The extendable eyes is gained by breaking a floating crystal to get the dendrospiral seed inside, and eating the seed is what grants the mutation. To get the floating crystal, you can only find them on top of dendrospiral plants, which are these huge plants in the tundra biome. You can get on top of the dendrospiral, by having a Vushlop abduct you and take you to its nest. Once you're on top, suck up the crystals, crack them open, and you can get the Extendable Eyes mutation, which allows a Trebum to extend its eyes high into the sky for a better view. Analytical Eyes 
is gained from the ocular orthopod that wanders the tundra biome and the final corrupted cylinder biome. It allows the Trebum to analyze creatures and adds information about those creatures to the creature compendium. Impaired eyes is gained from eating triple bosch antennas that drop from dead triple bosch or anogrash. This impairs the vision of the Trebum for three minutes and cannot be obtained past the desert biome. Iconic Vision. This is gained by breaking the carved gem that is found on these unique Trevum statues and then eating the control nodule inside of it. Iconic Vision allows the Trevum to take control of special Trevum statues and rotate them around to solve puzzles. The last category of mutations are the skin mutations. First up, the aposomatic skin, which is obtained by eating prickly pomes that grow on the top of these cactoid plants. You can shoot the fruit down by spraying water at it. You can find a few cactoid plants at the very start of the game before the first Trebum Shrine, but after that, you can only find them in the desert. The episomatic skin gives Trebum spiky skin that makes them inedible. Any creature that tries to eat a spiky Trebum will spit them out. This includes the Zushgard, one of the deadliest predators in the game. The only exception is the Gargadend, as it is a plant, so you are not painful to eat for it. Furred skin is gained from the Aerophytic Furball that grows on these special plants in the Tundra biome only. Gives Trebum a layer of fur to keep warm in cold environments. Entomophilia skin is gained from eating phytocephalic grass, which you can find in canyons full of gas. Gives the Trebum unique hair that attracts sack flies. Iridescent skin is gained by stealing an iridescent pearl from shelled Grolusk. Then break open the pearl to get a Grolusk sack and eat it for the mutation. Grolusks will leave their shells occasionally for food on their own, or you can trick them into leaving by shooting plants in front of them and wait for them to go for the food. You can do this multiple times with the same Grolusk to farm a bunch of pearls. The iridescent skin gives Trebum shiny and sparkly skin that makes them very attractive looking as any Trebum should be. Luminescent skin is gained from eating glow fruit found in caves. And this glow fruit isn't super common, so I recommend saving some of this glow fruit as it is not super common throughout the game. You'll never know when you'll get to the next plant. Luminescent skin make the Trebum glow to act as a light source in the dark. Camouflage skin is gained by breaking open the mimic mineral that grows off these weird spheres in the desert. Inside is the paleo-microbiotal colony that you need to eat to get the mutation. This item is only found in the desert. The camouflage skin allows the Trebum to camouflage itself with the environment to hide itself from predators. Electrogenic skin is gained by eating the Bazaboo fish found in water once you get to the tundra. You can find more Bazaboo in water throughout the entire game after you hit the tundra biome. Electrogenic skin allows you to revive Trebum that have been knocked out without needing to use minerals. However, you cannot pick up Trebum you find in caves that are injured. The crystalline skin is gained by breaking open the tetrahedron you get from the unifier. Inside the tetrahedron is tetrahedron flesh, which will grant you the crystalline skin mutation when eaten. This gives the Trebum crystal skin so they can blend in with crystal formations, and it is only used for story purposes. Hardened skin is obtained from skin tree bark that is found on the thermophile skin tree that grows on the sides of canyons or in extremely hot caves inside the desert. You cannot find this plant past the desert, unless you get super duper lucky and find it in a hot hot cave. Allows the Trebum to resist high temperatures so they do not take health damage during that super extreme hot time in the desert. Odorous skin is gained by eating stench leaf. This plant is very stinky. You find it and does have some odor lines coming off. Before you can pick up this plant, you must wash it off with water. This plant can only be found in the desert. The odorous skin causes the Trebum to give off a strong odor that repulses some creatures, such as the Anogrash, but attracts other creatures like the Great Gar. Comment below any questions you have on these mutations, and stick around for more Eternal Cylinder content.